So this video is going to show you how to make a Google Plus business page. First thing you do is you go to this URL right here, plus.google.com forward slash u forward slash zero forward slash pages forward slash create. Okay. If you're already using Google Plus, you can simply go to Google Plus, you log in, right underneath your name on the left hand side, you pick a link that says manage your pages. You'll go here, you click on create, you're going to end up at the same URL. All right. So the first thing you do is you select the category. This is going to be local business or place, restaurant, museum, you get the idea, product or brand, car, electronics, iPod, company, institution, or organization. This is if you have a company, but people aren't coming to visit you as they would a museum or restaurant. Um, if you have those, you would pick local business or place. Arts, entertainment, or sports, and then other. All right, so you select what you're going to be. I'm going to pick company or organization, institution, nonprofit. Just a quick note here. If you are a museum or, you know, say a concert hall or someplace where people come and visit you physically on a regular basis, then you want to pick a local business or place, a shelter, a soup kitchen, a food pantry. You want to pick local business or place, okay? Uh, but we're going to pick this for now. So we're going to pick the name of the page. Okay, put in your URL. You pick a category, okay? Category is going to be different from the major category. So this is a major category, and then underneath the major category, there's going to be like a subcategory, okay? It's going to be different for every major category. I'm going to pick consulting business, and then it says your page will be publicly visible. Its content is appropriate for any Google user, 18, 21, alcohol related. Again, pretty much like Facebook, okay? Keep me informed on future page releases, yes. I agree to the page terms, yes. Click on create, okay? The next step is to create a tagline. Pick a profile photo. The cool thing here is that you can pick multiple profile photos and when people click on it, it will flip to the next one. Click on change profile photo upload. So I'm just going to upload. I'll pick this logo right here. Crop it. Click on set as profile photo. Then I'm going to click change profile photo. I'm going to add another one. Okay. Same idea. You crop it. Set as profile photo. You'll see that, how this works in just a second. Click on Continue. And now it's prompting you to share on Google+. I'm not going to do that yet because I'm not ready. Click on Finish. All right. So this is my home page on Google+. Now, what this allows you to do, just like Facebook, you can switch between identities on Google+. So for example, now I'm a company called Joe's Web Stuff. I can simply toggle over to me, John Hayden, my Google Plus profile, or I can toggle over to my other profile that I've built uh, a few hours ago, Inbound Zombie. Okay. Once you toggle over to whatever page you want, so I'm going to go back to the other page. Now if I click on Profile right here, this icon right here, Profile, I'm going to go back to the profile. This is what my profile looks like so far. If I click on the face, it's going to flip back and forth. See how it does that? So you can upload multiple avatars for your main image. And then people could just come and click on this. This would be useful if you have a portfolio, if you're a local restaurant. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to edit your profile and add information about your company. So you just simply click in the fields, just like you would with a Google Plus profile. So I'm going to click right here. It's going to open up a new box. And I have some content I'm just going to throw in there. Okay. You can add links, italics, underline, bullet points, numbered items, and so forth. You can set this to be viewed by anyone on the web, extended circles, your circle, only you, and so forth. Okay. I'm, I'm going to say anyone on the web. I'll click Save. You can put contact information in here as well. Phone number. All right. And I'm going to add an email. 
I want to have my contact information maybe only viewable by extended circles. I don't want to get any spam through the email or random phone calls. So I'm just going to say extended circles, click on save, okay? And that's what we have for our basic profile. Now, you can upload photos and videos as well. And you can also add photos across the top. I think you're going to fit in about five square photos across the top. So let's take a look at what I've done with the Inbound Zombie Google Plus page. Go back home to the Joe's Web Stuff Google Plus homepage, and I'm going to switch over to Inbound Zombie. Okay? So if we look at Inbound Zombie, this is my stream. I have not published anything yet. And then if I click on profile, we're going to go to my business profile. As you can see, I've uploaded a few pictures across the top. It does look like we can fit a total of five. I have not posted anything yet, but I just wanted to show you how to create the page to begin with. Okay?